It is with profound grief the family of Ashanti Kimani Osai Riviere announces his passing. He went home to be with the Lord on Friday, 9th October 2020. He was predeceased by his father, Leonard Joseph Riviere, former Attorney General and Parliamentary Representative for Soufre, and his grandparents, Antoine and Elder Marie Thomas. He leaves to mourn his beloved wife, Crystal Revere, teacher at Babano Secondary School. Cherished son, Zan Revere, student at St. Mary's College. Dearest mother, Mauricia Thomas Francis, independent senator at the Parliament of St. Lucia and retired country manager of CIBC First Caribbean International Bank. Stepfather, Marshall Francis, former national cricketer and retired public servant. Siblings, Kwame Riviere of Montfortune Castries and Ama Niamiki Riviere of Canada. Adored aunts, Camilla Thomas Alcindor, Marlene Thomas Malcolm, Esther Sela, Marie Mamie Riviere and family, Uncles Simon Thomas, Calix Thomas, Remis William and family, Albert Riviere and family, Gregory Riviere and family, Peter Riviere and family, Renix Riviere and family, Martin Riviere and family. Cousins John Otis Thomas, who was also his godfather, Cecil Ike Alcindor, Leslie Ann Thomas Riggs, Liana and Kevin Thomas, Lamin and Mandy Saylor. Other special relatives including Jonel Dorian Thomas and April Islin Simon of Bonte, Larry Joshua and Ethan Riggs of Virginia, in-laws Annette and Augustine Lucien, Enda Lucien, Yop and family, Andrita Lucien and family, Simon Lucien, Gaspar Henry, Joan Spencer and family, Elizabeth Jules, Jackson Jules, Glenn, Macmillan, Francis, and Atlanta Henry. Treasured Godmother, Merle Deligny and family of Miami, Florida. Goddaughters, Chloe Joseph, Mia Rose Isaac, Alea Alexander. Many treasured friends including Darren Worrell, Oren Compton, Raj Kenai, Aswad Alexander, Dylan Marvin, Martin Silas, Ivanius, and Kamani Isaac, Kadim Francis, Shadrach Joseph, Vladimir Lubin, Sherman Robinson, Robin Smalls James, Marasa Henry, Denny Louis, Mustafa and Chevelle Felicia, Kendall and Nadia Satney, Cohen de Souza, Donnell Francis, Donovan Dennis, Mario McDoom, Ryan Scott, Ellen Antoine, Eva Bob Compton, Molly Dabrio, Odinga Jason Charles, Nadella Mabi Noel, Elma Felix. Also mourning his loss are the Revere family of Soufre and abroad, the Thomas family of Soufre, the Charles family of Soufre and abroad, the Jude family of Soufre, the Vitae family of St. Lucia, the Joseph family of Soufre, the Nicholas family of Soufre and abroad, the Francis family of Miku and abroad, the Lucian family of Corinth and abroad, the Henry family of Masque, Soufre and abroad, the Isaac and Antoine families of Sunbuild and Grosely, the Pascal and Worrell families of Corinth and abroad, Dr. Gilberto St. Rose and family, 
Miss Stella Benjamin and family of England, Mrs. Marie Tommy and family of Kappa State, Mr. and Mrs. David Popo and family of Bonterre, Mrs. Joan Clark and family of Barbados, Mrs. O'Neill Sanford Bell and family of Beausejou, Mr. Marcel Favre and family of Bois Mrs. Monica Felix and family, Mrs. Gloria Schillenford and family of Dominica, Mrs. Maria Payne and family of Dominica, Mrs. Jenny Nichols and family, Mr. and Mrs. Nigel George, Dr. Winston Paris and family, Dr. Morella Joseph and family, Ms. Virginia Jabatis and family of Palmas, Soufre, Ms. Julita Geta Pierre of Castries, Sonia and family of Marisol, the staff of Goute St. Lucie, and the entire George F. L. Charge Airport family, the Barclay CIBC FCIB family, and many other family members and friends in St. Lucia and abroad, numerous to mention. The funeral service for the late Ashanti Kimani Osai Riviere will be held on Monday, 9th November 2020 at the St. Joseph the Worker Roman Catholic Church, Groselay, at 2 p.m. The body will be laid to rest at the Groselay Cemetery. The body now lies at Lazarus Funeral Home. Important note, in keeping with COVID-19 protocols, only 100 persons can physically be accommodated at the church. Consequently, the funeral service will be carried live on Calabash TV YouTube channels for the benefit of persons who cannot be accommodated in the church. All attendees are reminded to wear masks and observe social distancing.